so hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to cover an interesting use case and it it is pending from a long time so as you know that recently in the previous month i created one video like how to send email and that's with the help of new send email action right now the send email action is much powerful like we can even log the email as well what we send to the customer or whatever the email we have basically we can log as well and we can also use the email template id into the same uh, send email action so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use that email template uh, in the send email action right and this is kind of a part two of that particular video although the scenarios are different both the scenarios are different but it is like a continuous part the scenario that we are going to take today whenever a case is closed uh, from open stage right like whenever the case status is changed to closed we need to send the message to the customer like okay your case is has been closed and this is the case reason and all these are the information that we need to send and whom we need to send we need to send to the customer uh, or you can say contact that is available on to that particular case so without any delay let's start building the flow so here i am going to click on create and flow so obviously this is going to be our record triggered flow so i am going to select record triggered flow and hit create over there so if you are a beginner and want to learn salesforce flows then i created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn salesforce flow from scratch this course contain more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content so if you are interested to learn flows make sure you check out the course link is given below into the description of this video so select record triggered flow click create I don't know I am in the pre-release org so usually I get these error messages I don't know why if you are also facing the same let me know into the comment box so I am just going to click on ok so the first thing which, which I am going to do is click on edit so first of all you can see this is the new update from salesforce right now you will see the configuration part of the start element onto the side as well like if you are going to configure any element you will see everything into the side so this is kind of a new update from salesforce like winter 24 so here you are going to select your object so case is the object that we are going to select and when we are going to do that whenever a case is updated now in the condition requirement it is very simple like status is equals closed and just to make sure our flow only run when the status is changed to closed i am going to select the second condition and here you know that whenever we need to send an email we need to select send email action so we need to select action and related record so here i am going to select and or we are going to add one more condition here because as i told you that we are going to send this email to the contact which is associated with the case right so here i am going to add one more condition where contact id is null boolean false so i hope you also get this now the thing what which i am going to do is i am going to use a send email action or let's say send email i am going to select this action over there and now you can see uh, ignore these errors i don't know why i am getting it uh, maybe because i am in the pre-release org right so that's why that's why the reason we are getting this error but you just need to focus now we are getting all the configuration part into the uh, right hand side earlier it is like a pop-up right so in this i am going to provide a label let's say send email to customer uh, api name will be automatically populated now in the body we are not going to select the body because as i told you i am going to select email template in this particular example so let's say if i move to email templates and here you will see if i open all email templates if you don't have one you need to create a template for you right so i already created this template if i open it that's called case closure so and you can also see the message dear customer the case with case number has been resolved and the resolution comment is case description 
So instead of this case description, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this edit in builder. So if you are not able to see why uh, this edit in builder button, I will provide the link of a help article. You just need to enable a particular setting and create a permission set over there and assign that permission set to yourself. And then you will be able to see this edit in builder button. I will provide the link into the description box. So just be with me. Now in this particular thing, instead of case description, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the custom field that I created on case object. So I'm going to select merge field here and move to case object and then you will see resolution comment. So I'm going to select this resolution comment and copy this resolution comment from there and remove case description. So now you know the how I basically uh, selected the field. If you want to provide merge field into your template, you can do like that. And now I'm going to save my email template and this is saved. Now, if you closely noticed uh, about the email template, I can simply fetch the ID from there, right? So for now, we just going to hard code the ID into our Salesforce flow. And I know it's not a best practice, but just uh, to check like whether my flow is working or not, I am just going to uh, do it for now. Then I will also let you know how you can dynamically fetch the template ID in your Salesforce flow. So first of all, in the email template ID, I am going to provide the ID that I get it from the email template, right? Then whether you want to log an email or not. Yes, I want to log an email. So I will simply type true over there. Then in the recipient address collection, we I don't want to uh, do anything in the recipient address list. I, if you want to send email to any other person other than that, their contact, you can provide that email ID over there. But as I am going to uh, send this email to a customer or let's say contact. So what I will do. So now, as you know, that recipient ID is over there, right? So in the recipient ID, I want to send this email to a uh, contact so here i am going to provide record dot contact id so that's how you can provide the recipient id and just to let you know what are the values you can put into the recipient id would be the id of lead contact or a person account to send the email to so in this case we are going to send the email to the contact so that's why i provided the contact id it is saying if log email on send is included, then recipient ID is the ID of the record where the email is logged. If email template, uh, template ID is included, then recipient ID is required. So as you know, so you can also read from the I button, right? Like it says, if email template ID is included, then recipient ID is required. We basically provided email template over there. So that's why we need to provide the recipient ID again. Now it says related record ID. So I am going to select it and you can see the I button, the ID of a non recipient record. For example, the ID of a case record, if log email on send is included, then related record ID is the ID of a secondary record to the, to log the email to. In this case, the email cannot be logged. If recipient ID is a lead record, if email template ID is included, then related record is the ID of the non recipient record. For example, uh, as I am sending uh, my email to the customer or you can say the contact. So in this related record, I cannot provide contact here. In this case, I need to provide the case ID. So let's say record dot ID. So in the related record ID, I provided the case ID over there. Now you will see rich text formatted body. We don't need that because as you know, we are sending uh, email from the email template ID. So we don't need anything. I am just going to save my flow and let's say here I'm going to type send email using template and I'm going to hit save. And let's say in order to check, I'm going to debug this flow and I am also going to open any case. Let's say if I open any case in the app launcher yeah let's say if i open this and also check whether there is a there's any contact provided over there so yeah a v green is provided over there as a contact so what i will do i will simply go to case 
let's say Z D so I will simply select this case over there and change the status to closed yeah so here is the status I will move it to closed and hit run so according to this our flow is working fine we can also see the debug logs so let's say yeah status working is equals closed and contact ID is not null then in the send email action you can see related uh, record ID is this contact ID is this log email on send true and email template ID is also provided so these are the four four parameters we basically provided in this uh, example so now I am going to activate my flow and let's say to the same record I will check which email ID I provided over there and also let me open my gmail so now let's say into the case and onto the avi green I will check what is the email id so now I will change the email id to my email id over there let's say Shubham Bharadwaj SRD this is my junk email usually I sign up from this email to all the trash platforms so that I don't get junk into my main email IDs I think most of the people do that yeah anyway so now what I will do I will simply change the status from working to closed so we don't have the close button here and so now I, what I'm going to do so if you are also facing this like why the uh, closed pick list is not available into into your uh, org as well so what you need to do you need to do setting maybe let's say support yeah move to support settings so here you will see show closed status in case status field right so what I will do I will click on edit and move to that particular setting and enable it and now I'm going to hit save So once I saved this, what I am going to do, I will move to the case and refresh the page. So before doing that, I just need to provide the resolution command. So let's say, have a chat with the client and we are processing the refund within a week. I am going to hit save and now what I will do I will try to check whether I have the status of closed or not so you can see now I have the closed status enabled into my Salesforce uh, case record detail page I will select the closed and hit save so as you know that once I basically provided closed over there I should receive an email so here you can see case is closed if I open this it says dear customer the case with case number has been resolved and the resolution comment is have a chat with the client and we are processing the refund within a week thanks team XYZ so that's how you can use a send email action and email template ID in your Salesforce flow but here is a major part that is still missing and I'm going to show you I told you that for now what we did if I move to the send email to customer we basically hard coded the email template ID but never do that right always use the uh, dynamic values so how we can basically provide a email template ID dynamically so for that I am going to use a get record element let's say get record and here I am going to fetch let's say cache closer template or let's say email template now in the object I am going to type email template and in this I will provide the developer name now you will say like okay Shubham how I can get the developer name so first uh, let you need to visit uh, that particular email template you have I will simply copy the ID right and now if you have Salesforce inspector plugin you need to simply go to a data export and simply type the ID over there and hit export so this is the query that you need to use select ID name comma developer name from email template where ID equals to this so I can simply copy the developer name and the same ID you need to use into the developer console if you don't have the Salesforce inspector plugin so for that what I am going to do 
let's say I will copy the same ID and you can see here is the developer name now I will also let you know how you can do that with the developer console so I open developer console from the setup right and here you can see the same ID I have so I will simply paste this and in the query editor basically you need to paste it and hit execute so you will see the case closure this is the developer name I will simply copy this developer name from there right and let's say if I provide it into the value and yeah so this is the developer name if you want to provide anything else that is related to but I don't think so this is this will be fine because developer name is a unique value itself then I'm going to select only the first record and automatically store all data once this is done I will open this send email to customer and remove this static ID so now I will use case closure dot ID so now you can see how I provided uh, dynamically the email template ID I hope you get it and now I am going to hit save as hit save and let's activate our flow again so now I am going to try uh, to some other uh, let's say cases we have so here we have few uh, cases over there right so what I am going to do I am going to open any case so first of all the email is not correct so I am going to change the email on this particular contact go to detail and in the email I am going to type the same email I have Shubham Bharadwaj srd at the rate gmail .com and hit save now I will move back and now what I can do if I refresh this page you can see the email is now changed see the email is now changed right so for that what we need to do now now we need to provide a let's say resolution comment let's say product so I am going to hit save now let's say instead of working I am going to make it closed and hit save so I should receive an email again so I will move back to my email and check so you can see again yeah case is closed dear customer uh, 001028 has been resolved and the resolution comment is product is good to exchange thanks team XYZ so see how it actually working fine with the get record element as well also there is one more thing pending in our salesforce flow and what it is always use fault path whenever you configure your flow and fault path scenario will be coming soon I will create a separate video and from then going forward we are going to basically use that subflow as a error handler in salesforce flow so for now that's it from this video thank you so much if you like the video